your inspiration as a DJ, where do you find a lot of, like, what type of music did you listen to before you started DJing, and what do you think influenced your current sound? So, that's a good question, bro. Like I said, my brother was, like, really a big influence for me, and, like, and my brother was listening to, like, you know, he was, like, apostrophe, like, Jonathan Peters and Boris and Victor Calderon, and even before that, when I was, like, when my brother was still in high school, it was like Louis DeVito mm. and like DJ Cammy, Mel C. I turn to you. Yeah. Like, bro, that was like my childhood. And then I remember being in my mother's fucking station wagon listening to freestyle music. Lil Susie, you know what I mean? Johnny Q. Like, that, that, that definitely has a big influence on my. But I'm just a very musical, like, person. Like, I like all types of genres. Like, you, you know, you could put me, like, with a fucking snakeskin boots and a cowboy hat, and I'll fucking, <laughs> I'll rock out some Morgan Wallen, bro. You know dude, I, mean? I fucking love Morgan Wallen, Yeah, dude. bro. Country music? I was a big, I, listen, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here in front of the cameras and say, like, I always loved country. There was a time when I couldn't fucking stand it. Same. But when you become a little bit more musically inclined, like, and you realize the level of skill and passion just for music in general... I appreciate all different th- types of music besides like screamo. Like I can't listen. That's like, tough. Death That's metal, tough. Bro. I mean, yeah. there's a couple good songs like those bangers, I'll, but like yeah, I mean, you can't. I'll I'm not sitting there running through a screamo. All that album. remains six. Yeah, yeah. When I'm in the gym. Yep. I put my head through a fucking mirror. Well, that's the thing is there's there's a time and a place for a lot of the different... And that goes back to what we were talking about, the whole perspective thing. I think over time, you kind of... Because that's what will happen with me. It was like different experiences ended up opening my perspective to different types of music, different types of thought, the way people think. Yeah, yeah. Music's one of those things. Like you it just... Is. And I was very closed off to a lot of different types of music. And then as you start to experience more perspective and go you know, go to different places, see different things. Like, for instance, I played college baseball, right? And, you know, before that, didn't listen to country at all. Yep. Zero. But every time we took BP on the field, diamond, sun shining, 12 p.m. on a diamond, what yep. do we got playing? Country music. Country music, Just baby. dropping absolute fucking missiles, Piss listening missiles. to country. That was also when Florida Georgia Line came onto the scene. Yep. That was when they dropped their first album, and they kind of bridged the gap between the modern country and what old country was. Yeah. And it brought a whole different crowd to yep. the country music scene. And now, look, scene. Morgan, going back to Morgan Wallen, he did a song with Lil Dirk, the rapper. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yep. he's, now they're, like, they're blending genres and stuff, you know? Yeah, and I think that's better for everybody. I think that's the way it needs to be. I think it is, it, bro. It, There's no boundaries in music, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? 